एवरी वन दिस इज जे कीर्ति ऑफ थर्ड बी ए इंग्लिश लिटरेचर फ्रॉम महालक्ष्मी वुमेन्स कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस आई एम हेयर टू रिव्यू द बुक ओपन विंडो रिटर्न बाय मुंड्रो सकी मिस्टर फ्रैमटन नटल वॉज अ यंग मैन ही हैड कम फॉर अ रूरल रिट्रीट ही डिड नॉट नो एनी वन इन दट रूरल एरिया हिज सिस्टर गेव हिम सम लेटर्स ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पीपल शी न्यू दैर Four years ago, she had been studying there at the rectory. Mr. Nuttall went to Mr. Sapleton's house with the letter. Mrs. Sapleton was not at home. Only her niece, Vera, a self-possessed young lady of fifteen, welcomed him. They engaged in a conversation. Nuttall did not know anything about Mrs. Sapleton. Vera decided to fool him and started to tell him an imaginary tragedy. She made him believe that he had come on the third anniversary of the cruel tragedy. Vera narrated with a sad tone that 3 years ago one day her aunt's husband and her brothers went through that window for shooting. When crossing the moor they had been engulfed in a treacherous piece of bog. They never came back and their bodies were never recovered. She continued that her poor aunt hopes that one day they would return along with the little brown spaniel which was also lost with them that is why this window is kept open Vera explained that her aunt had told her that her husband was wearing a white waterproof coat over his arm and Ronnie her younger brother was singing Bertie why do you bound as it was the way he used to tease her Mrs Sapleton entered the hall with an apology for coming late. She too talked about the open window through which her husband and brothers will be returning home directly from shooting. She rattled on cheerfully about the shooting, scarcity of birds and the prospects for duck in the winter. Frampton Nuttall felt horrible and tried to change the less ghastly topic. Mrs Sapleton's eyes was constantly straying past him to the open window. He felt it certainly an unfortunate visit as he was saying that the doctors had advised him to take rest Mrs Sapleton said here they are at last Frampton shivered and turned towards Vera she too was staring through the open window with horror Nuttall saw three figures were walking across the lawn towards the open window one of them was having a white coat over his shoulders and the spaniel They came noiselessly and the young chanted I said Bertie why do you bound Frampton thought them as ghost he rushed out the house by taking his stick and hat Mr Sapleton bearer of white mackintosh asked who rushed out when they entered Mrs Sapleton replied that it was Mr Nuttall who was worried about his illness Now Vera fooled her aunt and uncle by telling that Nuttall ran away because he was afraid of dogs This story also says that how imaginative a little girl can be. I hope you all like this video. Thank you for watching.